Yeah, yo, what's going on, y'all? Um, you know it's been a minute, man. I mean, told y'all I was gonna come with these stories or whatever, so you know, been busy a little bit, but you know, um, it's my second installment right here. You know what I mean, uh, shout out to everybody who checked out the last one. You know what I'm saying, um, as far as the last joint I did, first and foremost, uh. I did that just to, you know what I mean, kick this shit off. I wasn't trying to expose nobody. If I was, I probably would have said some names, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? But um, pretty much just putting that out there, you know what I mean? I ain't, I'm not doing this to try to, you know, gain no clout or nothing that shit. I'm just basically telling my stories, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But um, this is my next joint I'm going to get into. Pretty much uh, we're going to do... My second time on Rikers Island, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going to try to make it brief, because it's kind of like a long story, but I'm going to try to, like, make it, I mean, as fast as I can. I mean, I know some of y'all thinking, like, damn, this nigga, it's a second time, like, I mean, this nigga's that going in and out of jail their whole life, you know what I mean? But, I mean, pretty much, I was a young nigga still. This, my first time going in was 04, when I, when I caught that, that gun case. My second time going back was 2011, so it was like seven years later, you know what I'm saying? I ain't do no jail time or none of that all the way up to this point, you know what I'm saying? I might have caught a couple of meatball cases or whatever, whatever. But, um, so, basically around this time is when, this is pretty much how I got my name, HJ or Hayes Guy, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I mean, I used to, I used to uh, had a mean run with the Hayes back in the day, you know what I mean? For those of y'all who know, I mean, if you know, you know, you know what I mean? I had to part clicking, you know what I'm saying? Big ass jars of Hayes and shit. I used to go to New York a lot and just grab, you know what I mean, right off Broadway. You know what I mean, I got I got in tune with this block that was fucking with me heavy. You know what I mean, a couple, a couple blocks. I had one in, up in, on Broadway, and I had some niggas up in the Bronx that was fucking with me heavy. You know what I mean, which was for another block on Broadway, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm not going to name the block or the people because that's, that's not what I'm into. But um, basically, they just fuck with me heavy, and I used to get that fucking that fire, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, so eventually, you know what I mean, I started getting my ones up and shit. And what I would do is, you know what I mean, I would come up top, I would grab, and then after that, I would go party. You know what I mean? A lot of times, me and my man Zoo, the same boy from the first joint, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We was, we was heavy on the strip clubs around that time. We was young boys, you know what I mean? That's what we did. We went to strip clubs and shit. So, like, we would go to Sin City, we would go to uh, Sue's. What's the other joint that was popping back then? I forget. Um... Join out Queens and shit. This one, Queens had a bunch of them shits, but yeah, we would go to different spots like that. You know what I'm saying? So I remember one week I went up there and I grabbed, and uh, me and Zoo was on our way to go party and shit. My, my man Larry Love hit me up like, yo, what's up? What you doing? And I pretty much told him like, yeah, I just left the spot. You know, I'm about to go, and we about to go party and all that. And he told me, he was like, yo, Rod, listen, man, I, like, I don't think you should be riding around like that. You know what I mean? After you done grabbed them, you know, you trying to party and shit, you know, they be, they be heavy on the search up there and all that shit. But me not, I mean, not paying that shit no more. I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. I mean, this nigga, I mean, we do this shit every week. I used to be blowing in the car. I had work in there and everything. I ain't give a fuck. So one week, it's like a Saturday night. I mean, we all in my crib or whatever. So I don't remember. There was a couple of us over there. So I just remember, um, I'm like, yo, I'm about to go up top to go grab. Y'all niggas trying to fuck with it. They're like, yeah, so me, Zoo, my man Kato, we hop in the wheel. We drive uptown or whatever. I do what I do. I bought like a pound of haze or some shit. You know what I mean? I just bought like a pound of shit. You know what I mean? I think back then the price was like 4500 You know what I'm saying? This when ounces was still going for like 400 an ounce. Shit like that. You know what I mean? 450 Shit like that. That block work. You know what I'm saying? That piff. So, you know what I mean? Um, I grabbed that shit. So, I called my cousins and shit, like, I'm about to come down Brooklyn and come fuck with y'all and shit. And we're going to stop there in Harlem first, get something to eat. And we coming down there. So, I could have easily just jumped on the fucking West Side Highway, went to Brooklyn. This shit would have never happened. But being as though I went to Harlem, I don't know if y'all know the, di the difference between Harlem and the Heights. But Washington Heights is more like a drug area known for drugs. And Harlem is just known for crime, period. So, Harlem, I mean, like, with Washington Heights, you might see a lot of narcs and shit like that. Well, Harlem, the police is just different. It's just a lot hotter, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm coming down Broadway. You know, once as soon as you pass 55th, you want Harlem. You know what I mean? I'm coming, I'm coming down Broadway. We chilling. 
Oh yeah, I left something out too. I fucking had a Crown Vic I just bought. All black Crown Vic, you know what I mean? And I had a temp tag on there. So when the temp tag expired, instead of getting my tags, I forged a two where the one was at, you know what I mean? So if it was due in January, I forged it to make it look like it was February, which was dumb as shit, which is like really what fucked me over. So I'm riding down Broadway. I mean, mind you, we had been smoking and shit, so the car already smelled like weed. I mean, so we coming down Broadway. Uh, I guess pulled over. Boom. I think it was like some, I feel like it was some narcs or something. I mean, it was like some special cops because the way they whooped me, it was like them niggas was on my ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we were on 40 from Broadway. I get pulled over, whatever. They're like, yo, what you got in the car? This ain't third. I'm like, man, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You know what I mean? So they like, uh, what's up with this temp tag right here? This shit looking kind of funny. I'm like, man, I do not know what the fuck you talking about. So they pull me out the car, baby, look at it. Like, look, look at that. That don't look funny to you? I'm like, man, I do not know what the fuck you talking about. So they're like, man, fuck that. So they searched the car. They found the bud. You know what I mean? All that shit. So they lock all three of us up. You know what I mean? And they charged me with the bud, and they charged me with forgery. So, you know, me being from Jersey... Our law is a little bit different, you know what I mean? Especially in South Jersey. I mean, uh, a pound of weed is like a third degree charge, which holds the maximum of five years, you know what I'm saying? Up there, the weed is like a fucking traffic ticket. This was back then. This was 2011, you know what I mean? Like now, you know, weed ain't really a big deal. But back then, that shit was like that back then, you know what I mean? So me not knowing this shit, I'm just like, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm at the bell out, whatever. You know, so when we get to the district, they like, yo, um, they was making more of a big deal about the fucking temp tag than it was the bud. I'm like, what the fuck? They was like, man, I'm gonna go fuck about that weed, man. They like, yo, um, where you get that temp tag from? So I'm like, man, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. So I end up going to court. Matter of fact, before I went to court, I pretty much let them know, like, yo, that's my shit. Let my guys go. You feel me? So they was like, all right, look. Just sign this more paperwork, saying this your shit, and we're going to let your homies go. So that's what I did. I signed off. You know what I mean? Being this dog was mine. I, it really was mine. And I didn't want to get my homies involved in my shit. You know what I mean? Which I could have bailed them all out and did all that shit. But I'm like, nah, man. Let me get the fuck out of here. So, you know what I mean? Um, they got the leave from the district. You know what I'm saying? So I go to court that night. Um, I mean, they, uh, it, was, it was great OR me and shit because the weed was like such a petty thing to them. And but you know what I mean they the uh the forgery they was kinda on that shit. So being as though I had a jacket from before when I caught the guns, they set me a bell for the OR me and shit. So, you know, I go I'm, I go back, I'm like, damn, so I know I had some bread put up or whatever, call home, and I had some work put up. So call home, call my folks, call my brother, you know what I mean, told him to handle everything to get me the fuck out of there. So they ended up sending me to the tombs. So those of y'all who are not familiar with New York City, um, every borough got their own jail and Rikers Island. You know what I'm saying? So if you get locked up in Brooklyn, you liable to go to the Brooklyn house. If you get locked up in Queens, you can go to Queens house. You know what I mean? The Bronx got their own shit. Then they got the boat. And, you know, uh, Manhattan got the tombs, which is on top of the courthouse, whatever. So I ended up going there. And um, pretty much that shit, that shit is probably the sweetest jail I've ever been in my whole fucking life. Um, man, I don't know if it's because of my charge or whatever, but it was just sweet, man. Like for one, you get you get a single cell, you went in by yourself. Um, I had a I had a pretty ass view, of like fucking downtown Manhattan, the Brooklyn Bridge, and all that shit. You know what I mean, out my fucking cell, I could see all this shit. You know what I mean, nice big ass window. Um, I'm surrounded by Harlem niggas, so it's just a different vibe. Like not for nothing, man. I love Brooklyn, man, but them niggas be on some bullshit. They the niggas that be on some grimy, trying to rob you, trying to beat you the fuck up and all that shit. Like, all them niggas, them niggas be cool. They bought their money. Like, I done seen niggas in jail with fucking, the fucking uh, gold teeth and all. Like, like I mean, like, before that shit was cool, I'm talking about, like, you know how these rappers be having the diamonds all in their teeth and shit? Like, I done seen niggas in jail with that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and so, you know, me, I'm saying, try, I'm trying to fucking network. I'm trying, I mean, uh, 
I mean, see if I can meet me a plug and shit. So I'm in there for a couple of days. You know what I mean, my folks come grab me and I pause bell. You know what I'm saying? So I come home, I fight this shit from the street. You know what I mean, so the whole time, you know I mean, I'm fighting this shit for a couple months. It's looking like I'm about to get off this joint. Like, I mean, it wasn't really tripping, man. So I kept going to court and they like, yo, they, they wasn't ready. They wasn't ready. So I had a paid lawyer. They have a paid lawyer? I don't even know if I had got a paid lawyer. I, I might have rocked out with a PD. I don't know. But my PD was like, listen, we come back to court this next time. If they ain't ready, throwing this shit out. When I go back to court, man, shit, they locked me up. You feel me? Like, nah, this nigga, he got to do a... It was a light-ass bed, though. It was like a fucking... I think I got, like, county time, bro. Like, 60 days or some shit like that they gave me for this shit, bro. So, which, which end up dropping to, like, 30-something days. Like, I did, like, 40 days or some shit. I mean, on the island. So, mind you, I come back. I wanted to stay on the tombs, man. The tombs were sweet as shit. But it's like, nah, you got to go to the island. So, fuck it. I come back. They end up sending me to the island. You already know how the island is, man. You got that bullpen therapy. When you in that fucking bullpen for, like, 10 hours, the island's fucking filthy. It's packed. Hella fiends. They shove you in these little ass bullpens like sardines and shit. You got to pretty much find a spot and hold that down, you know what I mean? So, pretty much I end up uh, going to the 6th building first. That's where they send you at when you sentence. You go to the 6th building. Went there for a couple of days, moved around and shit. You know what I mean? Got myself situated. So then they sent me to OBCC, which is called Old Boy. That's like a notorious building, you know what I mean? That's known for catching wreck, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of shit that went down to old boy, you know what I mean? All right, so they sent me to old boy, but I'm like in a worker's dorm, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here waiting to try and find a gig and shit. I meet this one boy, he talking about, um, he working the bank, which is lockup, you know what I mean? And he like, yo, you should come fuck with me in the bank. I'm like, the bank? I'm like, I don't know about that, man. He like, yo, listen to I mean, they be trying to throw shit on you and shit and piss on you, but, you know, I, I just tell them, like, look, I mean, if, if y'all niggas throw shit or piss on me, I'm going to violate your food. Like, I'm going I'm to do some fucked up shit to your food so they don't be throwing shit and piss on me. I'm like, nigga, I'm not going down there where niggas just throwing shit and piss on niggas. Like, I'm I'm cool because, like, I'm not off that. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to work in the kitchen. Why not? You know what I mean? Fuck around, wash a couple of dishes, and you, and you eat good. You know what I mean? So... I went to the kitchen and old boy that first night, and that shit was work. I ain't gonna hold you. That's a big ass building, so nigga, I can't. I remember coming back tired as shit. Like, I mean, mind you, I ain't used to working anyway, but I worked the night shift and uh, I came back tired as shit. So eventually, I ended up getting a gig. I ended up having to go to work in another building called NIC. So I'm living in OBCC, and I work at NIC. So when I go to NIC. I would have to go catch a bus, you know what I mean? Take me to NRC every fucking day. Like, Rikers Island's a big-ass fucking... It's like a town, like... Like, it's like the town, bro. It's like mad buildings on there. It's a, a bunch of jails. You got C-73, C-76, C-74. You got OBCC. You got fucking C-95. Like, it's... Bro, it's a bunch of buildings on that drone. So, I was working at NRC. I mean, and uh, around that time... It was a, that's like, they sent a lot of big cases to NIC. Like, I seen the boy, it was a Jewish dude. I mean, he was like a big ass case. He, he had like abducted a little boy and killed him or some shit like that. I don't know if he raped him first or whatever, but I remember seeing him. They locked us all down, and I remember seeing him coming through the hallway and shit. You know what I mean? I mean, they had him at NIC, and I know they had Tupac at NIC when he was alive back in the day. So I'm, I'm assuming that's where they send like high profile cases or some shit. So I ended up working in that joint. That shit was pretty decent. I mean, I met some cool people. You know what I mean, my man White Bread from uh, Coney Island, funny ass poppy boy and shit. Another poppy boy named Pito was from uh, the Bronx, tattoo dude. You know what I'm saying? And I meet my man S Dot back in the dorm and shit, which is my man to this day. Shout out to my man S Dot from uh, from East New York, Star Red City. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga. I told him, I told him to get him more here. You know what I mean? So. Look out for that. You know I mean? I'm going to get him more here. We're going to chop it up and shit. Um, my man Dredd. I was cool with some nigga named Dredd. He was from the 90s and shit. You know I mean, another thing about you niggas from the 90s, man. 
Y'all niggas be trying to rep East New York, but y'all Flatbush niggas for real. Y'all East Flatbush, but y'all be trying. Like, I, I hear a lot of this from the 90s. Be like, yeah, you know, we, we like East New York and shit. No, y'all niggas ain't. Y'all niggas is East Flatbush, nigga. Yeah, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Rep that shit. Anyway, um, I mean, pretty much my time was decent. I ain't really had no situations, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of shit, like I said, always be over the phone and shit. You know what I mean, which I learned about slot time, like, now, I mean, I see niggas be trying to do that shit now out here, but that shit been going on in New York, like, pretty much, like, say you come in the dorm, and it be three phones, one of the phones might be for the homies, you know what I mean, so, basically, somebody usually runs the house, they really usually run the phones and shit, it might be a phone that's straight for the homies, it might be, you might be in a crib house, it might be a phone that's straight for the crips, or a poppy house, however it go, you know what I mean, so, of course, when I came in there, it was the homies, you know what I mean? Uh, they ain't really take a phone, but from this time to that time, they had their slots and shit. I mean, this nigga would rock out every day from this time to this time. And, you know what I mean, I wasn't really big on the phones. I just jump on the here and there. You know what I mean? Uh, that pretty much was about it, man. But one thing about them phones, man, niggas could, like, literally take them shits off the hook and just keep them drones, like... So if a nigga want to dead you on the phone, like, you ain't nobody using the phone, he can put that shit in his back pocket and walk off and shit. And that shit start a lot of trouble, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as crip niggas, them niggas, you know, back then, like, they still was, he wasn't welcome on Rikers Island. I mean, I see nowadays, they be a lot of, like, the bloods are starting to be on some cool shit with the crips, like, where they not color banging. Same thing in Jersey, like, you know, Jersey, they wasn't really welcome neither. I mean, when you went upstate, but on Rikers Island... It was it was real bad for the Crip niggas. Like, it was one boy, he was a Crip. He was from Crown Heights. Tall ass boy, you know what I mean? I think he was like Guyanese and shit. And um, he was like, he ain't letting it be known that he Crip. You know what I mean? So he he kind of like trying to blend in with the Jamaicans and the and the Rastas and all them niggas. You know what I mean? But niggas must have got word that he was Crip. So it was this boy named Jungle who I was fly with. You know I mean, he used to pretty much pay me for phone calls. Like, huh, bro, like. I'm going to give you a dollar worth of food and make me a phone call or whatever. So he was like, basically, <laughs> the Crip nigga, he used to order, you know what I mean? But they used to go on his shit. He knew they was going on his shit, but he ain't never say nothing because he didn't want to get, you know what I mean? Beat the fuck up or whatever, so, or stabbed or whatever, you know what I mean? So, basically, the, the nigga Jungle would go right in the Crip nigga's shit, take his food and bring it to me to make phone calls for him, you know what I mean? So I would do that, you know what I mean? And uh, me and Jungle got cool and shit, shout out to Jungle. Coney Island and shit, real wild boy, you know what I mean, um, it was some nigga named Polo in there, from Harlem, he from 42nd, same block, Dame Dash, you know what I'm from, like, he from around Cam and them, but, real, real flamboyant, pop shit all fucking day, wanna talk about how he changes outfits four or five times a day, and he gets all this money, and all this crazy shit, you know what I mean, but, uh, I mean, nigga said he was fraud, you know what I mean, like, my man said he seen him on visiting the nigga bitch like a smoker, you know what I mean? So I don't know if he was capping or if he really was the man like that. But um and another thing is like when I got there, it was a nigga from Philly that was he he had he had the house, you know what I'm saying? Like, so whoever had the house left it to this nigga from Philly. He was from Pike Street, you know what I mean? I mean, me and him talked and chopped it up for a minute, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I wasn't really on some we ain't get that cool, but it just was weird to me that a nigga from Philly had the house, you know what I'm saying? And he was holding that shit down. You know what I mean? So, pretty much that was it, man. Like, I went in there, I did my time, and got the fuck up out of there. Like, niggas looking at me like, nigga, you only got fucking four. First of all, I ain't telling nobody my bed, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, until it's time for me to go, niggas like, where the fuck you going? Like, nigga, I'm going home, nigga. They're like, what? Because you got to think, everybody in there got a bullet, which is a... Uh, a 364. Damn, everybody got a bullet, you know what I'm saying? So, they looking at me like, nigga, what up? Nigga, you only got 40 days, man. Get the fuck out of here. Nigga, I don't even want to talk to you no more, you know what I'm saying? But shit, like, I mean, that experience right there, um, that shit wasn't about nothing, man. When did my time, man, I was just happy that I got that little bit of time because, like I said, in Jersey, nigga, I done got way more time for less work, you know what I'm saying? Like, them times I've been upstate, bro, I wasn't getting caught with no real work, like, I was getting caught with little shit, but me not knowing the law and shit, them niggas was getting away with fucking 
giving me a bunch of time and my lawyer was on some nut shit. You know what I mean? So me fucking going to New York and getting a PD and and get that little bit of time. Like, real rare. If I didn't got to pay lawyer, I probably wouldn't have did no time. You know what I'm saying? Which I should have did now that I think about it. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Like, you live and you learn. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's pretty much my time on Rikers Island Part 2. I mean, I ain't had nothing crazy for y'all. I ain't cut nobody. I ain't, you know I mean, join no gang or nothing. None of that type shit. I mean, I went to the yard like one time, you know what I mean? That shit was cool, you know what I mean? Like, to me, it was, it was crazy. Like, just having a view of the city, like, you know what I mean? Like, looking at Manhattan from a fucking island. Like, that shit was weird, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I mean, besides that, uh, that's pretty much it, man. You know what I mean, but stay tuned. I got some more shit coming. You know what I mean, if y'all got any suggestions, let me know. Um, hit the like button, man. I need y'all to hit the like button because the more y'all hit the like button, the more you know the video gets put in the algorithms and all that. Subscribe to my channel, man. I got some videos coming soon. I got some rap videos coming soon. You know what I mean, just stay tuned, man. If you fucking with the music, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit y'all with some shit. And it's your boy Big Rod signing out, man. Young HG the OG. Hey, he's got. Shout out to my niggas on Broadway. You already know, man.